Green's one and all, how's everyone doing? I like to say this trip was for fun, but unfortunately, this is for work. I need, uh, I need firewood for my condo for this coming winter. So I came out to the National Forest. Uh, I'm actually at the runway. And I'll show you why here in a moment when I show you this to when I turn the camera around. But uh, I basically, my truck's still not running. So I'm gonna bring out my Jeep. I brought my Jeep and I'm just gonna basically fill the Jeep with a bunch of smaller wood. And uh, let me show you why. So for example, this tree right here, this is dead and fallen over. Hell, even the one that's laying across it, I can buck this down to sizes like this. Make sure you guys can see the, and I can buck it down and I can split it down for kindling. And also um, the ends I can use, I can quarter them down and use them as actual fuel. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Some of these are still alive though. Like this one here has got, I hope you can see that. That one right there has got green tips, so I can't cut that down. And then this one here has green tips as well, so I can't cut it up. But, you know, this little guy right here is, uh, this little cluster here, this guy here is completely dead. I can cut it. And I got a big one right over here that's really straight and also standing dead. So I might take that one too. I'm not going to need a ton of wood. I just want to get a lot of small so I can, uh, when I go to light my fireplace, I'll have kindling I can throw on there. Plus small fuel I can throw on. And I'm not having to uh, sit here and, you know, break down my larger fuel. Which when I get home, I'm going to show you what I've got. And I feel like I still need another truckload, but I can get working on this. So I'm going to go get the... I'm going to start cutting this big guy right here. So I'll go get my saw and get to work. That's one thing I really like about these battery-powered chainsaws. That I don't have to... I'm not going to be making a ton of wood with a battery-powered motor. That will annoy the campers where I can literally see... be a bit of a debate how much I actually show you of the work I do but I might speed up a lot of the footage too Uh, my apologies if the camera was crooked. I didn't mean to do that.
I think that's a good start. Let me show you this other one I was looking at. So I got at. this guy here. And uh, as you can see, it's not super huge at the end, but it's good, straight, and long. I just got to trim off all the branches because I don't need those, unfortunately. Campfire, yes. Home fire, no. But uh, yeah, I mean, some of those bigger ends will be quite a bit thicker. So I got this guy here. And uh, as you can see, it's not super huge at the end. But it's good, straight, and long. I just got to trim off all the branches because I don't need those, unfortunately. Campfire, yes. Home fire, no. But, uh, yeah, I mean, some of those bigger ends will be quite a bit thicker, which I'll show you. I was talking about. See, it's a bit bigger. But, uh, I'll just quarter those down. In fact, some of this bigger stuff here, this, I can cut up. And this big guy here, I can cut up. I might actually feel a lot of this. Staying in your way, but we got quite the uh, the pile of wood here. See, if I had my truck, I could bring. digging it. So I'll get me uh, I'll get started on this. Alright, so I basically did get everything set up. I got my cross beam set up here. That way I can cut let them drop to the ground and I don't have to worry about cutting over the rock doling my chain I've got these I'm gonna buck through if I have to I can take them home because they're not they're not too long for the car and just charge the batteries and buck them up tomorrow or something get that big guy over there which again I'm hoping I can cut in all that pile over here which I'll get, so I get all this like I said, this is for kindling and just little things to get fire started, fire going. But then I got this big mamber jamber here that all that end though will be, will be good fuel. Oh, <sighs> first I got my so. car, literally it's like, well, let's see, six, 12 feet away. That way I don't have to carry it a long distance. I'll just start stacking it in the back until either the car is full or whatever. I might try to fill up the car level to the seats. I know, we'll just see how it goes. I only got the two batteries for the chainsaw, so I might run out of battery or it could fail. But I guess we'll right, see. What I'll probably do is I'll do a few cuts so you guys, and then I'll do some high speed so you guys have a, a gist of what I'm doing. And then I'll just cut the rest off camera as I'm sure you guys are already thinking. Man, I don't want to sit here and watch a cut firewood for 15 minutes. Yeah, I hear you. I know I'm not doing that. And I'm also going to be cutting these small, but like this. I thought I would mention um, after after every piece that I cut, I, I load them in the car, so it gives the uh, saw a chance to uh, cool down a little bit. <laughs> 